Hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Uh, I just had a, a very troubling start to this video where I moved a single square here and the game would consistently crash. I rolled it back, the game wouldn't allow it, it said the version I was playing was too recent, but luckily I found the perfect balance. So uh, yeah, if you're experiencing that, roll it back literally one, like one week ago. And uh, it seems like we can actually move now. Anyway, something I just noticed, uh, Tilly here is back to being unfriendly. So we do still have to deal with our issue with the consortium. Uh, here, the consortium of fighter, look. Rep way too low, makes trading impossible in the Freehold and in Ezra. So that's something we still must work on. Please don't follow me up here. Good, good, good. All right. So... We're going to be starting the Tomb of the Eaters quest today, which is probably my favourite quest. Before we do that, why don't we quickly jump over. I did make a handy dandy recoiler for it yes, uh, yesterday. When I say yesterday, I actually mean last episode. I don't know why I said yesterday. Uh, we have some books to just kind of drop off right here. We could hand them in now, I suppose, but I think I want to start saving them up. Um... I guess I'll put them in this chest out here for now, rather than dumping them on the floor. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, we're about to go to the tomb. Tomb is a lot of fun, in my opinion. Probably going to be there for a couple of episodes. Uh, as I don't like to rush it, I like to kind of milk it, honestly, for all it's worth. There's a lot of good loot waiting for us in there. Let's put all of those books in there for now. Anything else that we might want to drop off in the meantime? I want to keep a little bit of um, a little bit of money on us. This is going to be a friggin' plastic tree, right? Ah, this the UI is beautiful, but this is nowhere near. I wish it highlighted the entire thing that you were looking at. I find it really hard to see sometimes. Probably just me though. Right, let's ID this. Feels weird using my mouth. Mouth? My mouse. Freudian slip there. Alright. So. It's time. Let's friggin' go, shall we? Do I have any Reshef history? I don't. Okay. I guess whilst we're here, let me quickly check the schematics drafter. Freezing... Uh, Defoliant, Andrea Missile Launcher, okay. Cool, I love being famished, it's my favourite time. I do want to check the Kippers and the Chefs, just to see if they're... Uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. And Neutron Flux. <gasps> Alright. Oh man, I'm so glad, you know, I wasn't planning on looking through all of this. This is good. We have, uh, I think, our second... I think we've consumed Neutron Flux once before on this character. But really, I'm more excited for the drop of Nectar. Um, What should I get rid of? I don't really want this recoiler anymore. Am I really going to have to go and grab something out of my chest? No, I can get rid of Sphinx Salt. Okay. This is this is huge. Okay, so um let me start here by So just for the record, you can't use precognition on drops of nectar. Which makes sense because it would be way too cheesy. You can, however, use it on neutron flux. So we're gonna start by using up the Neutron Flux. See if we survive. Yes. Plus one AV permanently. From 22 to 23. Okay. And what I want to do now is cook up the drop of Nectar just on its own. There's a 25% chance this will proc. Nothing happened. That is absolutely fine. 
Um, and then whilst we still have precognition active, um, what I want to do is buy a new mutation. I believe that using the drop of nectar re-rolls the seed, but it actually may be that it's not until it procs that you it re-rolls the seed. So hopefully we should have a different uh, selection of mutations. Yes, it does work. Okay, so there you go. If you were worried, if you have four mutation points and you don't like what they offer you, if you're using precognition, you simply find a drop of nectar or an eater's nectar injector, you use it, and then that will re-roll the whole seed for which mutations you're offered. Okay, we've got some actual good ones here. I know which one I'm going to take, but I'm going to quickly talk you through um, everything. So, confusion. Confusion, I think, is objectively the worst one here. Um, but it's really good if you're planning to, like, proselytize or beguile stuff. Um, it's also quite funny. It's also a cone, I believe. So, you can hit multiple enemies at once. Teleportation. Uh, a lot of people have asked to take teleportation with Temporal Fugue. Uh, seems cool. Also, teleportation with Clairvoyance is incredibly good. As a kind of get-out-of-jail-free card. Allows you to jump away pretty much anywhere on the map that you can see. I think we, however, will be taking Cryokinesis. We have an incredible cold resist right now. Um, and it is actually an offensive ability, our first true offensive ability, other than, uh, Sundermind. Sundermind obviously has an insane, it doesn't have an insane cooldown, but you can only use it once, and there's a lot of ways to break it. But I think having Temporal Fugue with Cryokinesis could be really funny. Um, you don't really pick Cryokinesis necessarily for the damage, although the damage is okay. You're mostly picking it to... As like crowd control and also it allows you to get free hits in melee basically um teleportation is tempting i will say but i'm gonna go cryo this is something i've specifically been looking for so and that goes straight to level nine there meaning we do a 9d2 damage on our first round 9d3 on our second round and then 9d4 actually quite a lot of uh quite a lot of damage Pretty happy with that. We just got loads done and out of the way. Ready for the tomb. So let's get out of here. I'm going to say no. Alright, so. For the tomb of the eaters. We want to go back to Ezra. First and foremost. Trying to avoid friggin' Six Shrew who hates me. As you can see. Also, do you have anything? No. Alright. Just as well, really. Alright, I'm going to move along the bottom of the... No, he sees me. That's fine. I'm just going to look at this here. This is going to give us the uh, mark of death, which is this in my particular case. Really easy one to remember. Open bracket, hash, 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 hash. Open bracket. There's also an NPC you can speak with. Uh, right here, the penitent guy, and he'll give you like a little mission, but I don't really care about that. Right, I'm just to make sure that Six Shrew doesn't follow me down here. You did follow me. Well, uh, okay, I'll tell you what, come here. You are now confused, which is not going to be very good for you. I'm going to try and proselytize you. No. It's so annoying, man. Why can't you just leave me? Right, well, Six Shrew's down there chilling now. Let's not forget where they are because we will need to go back for them at some point to bring them back because I don't like just having random traders. Getting him back is not going to be easy, though. Spiked gas tumbler. All right, we may as well take this mission now. What are you doing here? I need to enter the Tomb of the Eaters. Okay, he's telling us to speak to a turret. I don't like that Six Shrew's just left down here. I would rather bring them back up. Here we go. 
Right, yeah, come back up here, you fool. Are you gonna come up here? You're literally a sunflower. Right, there we go. I don't like all of the tumbling pods. Come on. That's a lot of tumbling pods. Holy hell. Alright, you know what? Six true, no longer buddies. If he dies, he dies. Or if they die, they die. Whatever. Right. We now have to tattoo the mark of death on us. So let's select our tattoo gun. I'm going to press T to tattoo. I'm going to select ourselves. Uh, I'm going to put it on my face because I'm insane. And I'm going to go right in the mark, which in this instance was... Okay, my hash button is not what it used to be on this keyboard. Should be this one. There we go. Submit. We're going to do that in... The colors you pick will change your sprite here. So don't do anything that's going to make your sprite hard to see. I'm going to go like magenta and gold. There we go. Look at us now. We look pretty. We look real pretty. So we now have the uh, the mark of death on our face. What was that? Is Six Shrew still following me? Yep. Wow, what a brave little boy. And I say that in the most condescending way ever because uh, I'm done. I'm done with your nonsense. Here we go. We're in. We're in, boys. We're going to take the, uh, the traditional route into the uh, the tomb. That is to say, we're going to take the long route. Because I love playing through this whole dungeon. We drop down here. And boom. Wow, how did they get in here? It doesn't matter. Right. Welcome to the Tomb of the Eaters. If you haven't been here before, it's a really fun place where dreams are made. Okay, we are in. We are officially in the folk catacombs. The deepest... Okay, thank God. That is not what you want to see when you step around the corner. Is a friggin' a sludge. Luckily, they belong to a cult that we're on good terms with. They're a deaf pilgrim. In fact, this guy would make a pretty nice uh, follower if we can get them to come with. There's also an ogre ape here. Okay, they all belong to the same cult from the looks of things. You want to come with? You do. Okay, beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, you're fighting a regular ooze. All right, we got a new uh, follower. I don't know if this mad pole is still going to try and attack me. I don't think it is, but I still don't trust it. Okay. Oh, cool. By the way, if you get um absorbed by those slimes and you don't kill them quick enough, they will melt you through the floor. Also, I wasn't expecting this guy to just be here, so... This is a great time to use our first ever Temporal Fugue with Cryokinesis. Wow. They annihilated that guy. Just unbelievable. Thank you, boys. I'm going to let them do their thing. I'm going to keep exploring here. Okay, we have a rocket turret up here, from the looks of things. Which I do not like. Let me disarm that, please. Okay, good. We did disarm it, and it's no longer there. It dropped a rocket launcher. Which I'm going to ID, but I'm not going to pick up, because... It just weighs too much, and I'd rather have the bits. We have our first Mapango here. You may notice as well that in the uh, in the message log here, 
you can see this message pop up every 20 turns or so. Uh, the dead will be recalled in 240 rounds. What that means is every, every I think it's, it's either 280 or 300 rounds, you'll be teleported to a random space within this uh, like Z level of the dungeon. Unless you're standing on these tiles, which make you tomb tethered. I'll show you what that looks like here. Currently occupying a tile safe from the tolling teleportation of the Bell of Rest. So as long as you're standing on one of these, you won't get teleported. Just something to bear in mind. Either way, let's keep moving here. I don't mind getting teleported. You will eventually kind of figure out where you are. Remember, there's a 3x3 three three grid every parasang, so you can kind of deduce where you are. Okay. Do we see anything interesting? There's a teleporter over there. That normally takes you directly to the stairs to the next area. Uh, let's zoom out one layer here to see if there's anything else we're missing. No. <clears throat> and it looks to me, you can see with this wall along the outside here, looks to me like we are in the bottom left uh, square of the uh, of the tomb. So this will be the middle left. You see, 140 rounds until the bell goes now. These robots are friendly for now. These conservators. Uh, if you're here without the tattoo, without the mark of death, they will not be friendly. And they, they, they can be kind of annoying. They're not particularly hard, but they can, um, they can be rough. Okay, you have burgeoning, which is super cool. Keep moving. Okay, Clairvoyance is back up. Let me just pop that. Another teleporter. But besides that, there's not really much on this square either. Okay, if we can make it here in... Oh, actually, I think this is closer. If we can get there in 80 rounds, we won't be teleported. So let's do that. Just freeze this guy. Beautifully done. Alright. 20 rounds until the bell goes. Looks like we got here just in time. Okay. There you go. You were not recalled as you're already in a resting place. Beautiful. That means the bell has been reset and we can continue to move. Um, let's move up to the top left square here and see if there's anything exciting. Okay, yes, we have the M Mapango settlement here. Um, as well as a bunch of actually kind of scary, uh, saps here. This is a life sap, which is not that scary. Vigor sap, a lot more scary. Okay, as long as there are no ego saps, I'm not that worried. We also will encounter grave robbers for the first time here. I recommend always trying to kill them because they actually will have some decent loot. Uh, I've even killed them before where they're, they have handy nukes in their inventory. Also, stuff like this, Plastifer. Plastifer sells for so much money that I think that alone is, is reason enough. Okay, so throughout the tomb, we're going to see some unique named NPCs. This is Natchum. Uh, they are related to a quest. This guy gives an item, I believe, called Natchum's Ribbon. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to take yet. I probably will take Natchum's Ribbon. But uh, let's keep moving. Okay, so um, another teleporter here. I think I'm going to take out the sap in the compound first. So I'm just going to use Sundermind on that. Uh, 
There it goes. So yeah, I think... Oh, they're gonna... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, let's not... Let's try and remember where this... Where this is, because Natchum is the person that I want to complete this quest with. I'm just going to watch that and see what happens. Okay, Natchum's okay. They didn't melt through the floor like I thought they would. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to take out this grave robber, first and foremost. He's in my way. Okay, and then let's deal with this friggin' slime. There is one other, uh, there's another NPC here called the Gasha, who I think actually might have an item that would be good for us in particular, but... Let's see, what do I want? I'm going to take the Plastifer Jerkin, Plastifer Sneakers, Plastifer Bonnet. That's already a whole bunch of money right there. Okay, we broke. Broke whatever that was. That's okay. It's a sleep gas grenade. Hmm. I'm going to grab this and try and repair it. You never know what that might be. It might be useful. The floating glow sphere is also worth money. Herbreeze are just the best healing item in the game. This is our first overloaded laser pistol. Um, these you can sell for uh, pretty decent money. You see here we uh, we think it's going to be between 800 and 1000 drams each. Uh, you will find a lot of these and they will over make you be overweight after a while. Um... I guess I can grab a couple of them. They do have number 4 bits, so they're also good for ripping apart. And I don't really want the the extra water there. I'm going to go make sure that Natchum's okay. I really don't want that sap to get near me. Okay, there we go. Try not to get frozen, boys. Oh, there's a grave robber who just, uh... Who just grabbed me. That's really funny. He must have seen me, uh, take out his friend. Apologies. Alright, what did you drop, then? Best of the sneakers, we'll grab those. No idea how long until the bell goes here. I've not been paying attention. So this is a hypertractor. Um, they're kind of cool. They're basically a, a like a ray that pulls things towards you. I'm going to uh, rip it apart because a number 6 bit is pretty valuable to me right now. And what did, I t what did I say when we got here? A handy nuke. This is actually the only time I've encountered this. Handy nuke. Terrifying, terrifying item. It's worth, as you can see, it's worth an obscene amount of money. Um, between basically 8 grand and 12 grand. Uh, it also has a number 8 bit. We have not come across any number 8 bits yet, so that's good to know. I'm going to grab that and never use it because I'm literally too scared. We'll grab the pickled mushrooms. Two floating glow spheres. And you can see, like, this is a place to make money. Okay. Good, good, good. Right, there's K gunning on. Sorry, not K gunning on. Uh, Natchum, you you chill out. Okay, we are now tomb tethered. We got 180 rounds until the bell goes here. So this is the turret that that guy was talking about. Outside. There we go. So now. We need to speak with the Mapango here to start the quest. Also, look, there's some juicy bits on the floor here. There's a number six bit. Hey, I don't know what you just killed. Hmm. 
my uh, my followers out here killing stuff. I think they're killing the saps that are coming towards us. Over here. Look at that. Number five. Another number six bit there. Okay. Please have uh, rep with the consortium of fighter. Hated by fungi. Hated by trees. Okay. You're in charge here. Okay, we're, we're looking for Liba here to start this quest. Also, I'm going to eat whilst I'm here. This now gives us burrowing claws, which allows us to dig. We've got 120 rounds until the bell goes. What do we have over this way? Another grave robber up here who's pretty mad at me, understandably. Also a statue here that I want to take a look at. Uh, otherwise, I think we keep moving. This is an interesting gap here. Are we not in the top left right now? What is this? Uh, yeah, this takes us out of the tomb. That makes sense. I'm going to wait until the bell goes. There we go. And we're going to move over. I don't know what's going on here. I don't like it. Oh, it's a, a bunch of evil Mapango, apparently, that belong to uh, a faction that doesn't like me. I don't know why they're pissed at me right now. Oh, Labour, there you are. Don't die. I swear to God, if you die, I'm going to be pissed. I think they just died. Nope, they're good. Come, 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 come. Alright, just need to speak to... Libra refuses... Wait, why? Why? Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. Get proselytized. Will you speak to me now? Okay. Right, we now have uh, the mission. I'm going to tell you to wait here. I don't want you to come with me. Um, dismissed. You see, we now have to look for a, uh, a slime called K. Goninon. Who has a repulsive device. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here because I, I'm not really here to piss off the Mapango. You know what it is? It's my follower. My follower's um, burgeoning seems to be messing them up. Wait, really? You have no items? That's weird. Good thing I didn't do the water ritual of any of those guys. Okay. Right. So we're now in the top center. And we have an invader. Somewhere. Right over here. Looks like they have some thralls. Let's take a quick look at them. And there's Kay Gonanon, by the way. Loved by oozes. Just like by vines. It's a Sultan Croc. That is a little bit scary. The rest of them... I mean, the Ego Sap's obviously very scary as well, but... Let's try and take out this guy from afar. Using a little Sundermind action. Yep, and there they go. Uh, we will have to deal with the Sultan Croc... Okay, I don't like being stuck. Hold on, we need to keep an eye on what happens up here with Kay Gonanon. See if they're going to fight each other. No, doesn't look like it. Oh no. Kay Gonanon has the Sultan Croc. I don't think it's going to go well for Kay Gonanon. 
So I'm still uh, trapped behind this barrier over here. I'm going to watch this fight and see what happens. Okay, we can no longer see what's going on. Let's make our way over there and investigate. 140 rounds until the bell tolls right here. Let's chill this guy. Okay. I'll also sunder the mind of this uh, grave robber. Okay. That's one way of dealing with that. What do you have, my friend? You have plaster for jerkin. Probably going to be jumping in and out of this place a couple of times to drop off all of our goodies. Another overloaded pistol. But remember, trading is just kind of completely cut off until we sort out the whole problem with the consortium. <laughs> Alright, another clairvoyance here. Okay, it looks like Kagonanon actually died. Um, so hopefully the repulsive device is on the floor right here. Let's hope. Hope and pray. Thoughts and prayers. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll take out this croc. Because he can dismember us really badly. Actually going to maybe get the boys on the job. Beautiful stuff. Great job, guys. There we go. You got him. Right, 40 rounds until the bell goes. We're definitely going to get teleported this time, unless we jump in the uh, teleporter. But we are here for this. The slime-stained repulsive device. Grab that. Uh, I'll also grab the mushroom. And he actually... Kagon and On got their face cut off. This gives plus two ego, so we definitely want to equip this. For one extra ego. And we got a schema soft. Okay. So I think we are about to get teleported. What I'm going to do, I'm going to allow it to happen. Because it's not that bad. We can get to the body of this uh, scrounge. Where did they die? I think they, I don't think they dropped anything. Okay, we're about to get teleported. And there we go. Looks like this is a square that we've already been to. I think this is the middle left. So if we go up the... Oh, no. Wait. No, no, no. Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. We do have burrowing claws, remember? We didn't massacre the entire... I think they're still alive. Hey, I'm so glad that we got chill. I just want to quickly go and find uh, Natchem again now and trade the repulsive device with them. Natchem, Natchem, Natchem. There you are up there. Chilling in the Mopango base. We're going to speak with Natchem. Okay, you're asleep. Please wake up. I didn't actually know you were capable of sleep. Take it. We receive Natchem's Ribbon, which is a unique item. If we take a look at this, you'll see. This is a really cool object. Uh, so when it's equipped and powered up, uh, it gives you a 40% chance that a tinkered item will have a random item modification. Uh, and this includes modifications that aren't normally tinkerable. Meaning it can give you stuff that you don't know the recipe to and things that you can't get the recipe to. So pretty cool 
Honestly, my favourite of all of the uh, objects you can get from this quest. I think, anyway, now we should um, wait till the bell goes, firstly. I don't know what's happening over there. It's not my business. There we go. Yeah, it's my it's my follower. They're um they're casting an obscene amount of burgeoning. It looks like. Uh. Actually, maybe too much. It almost makes me want to not have them. Yeah. Right. Get in the teleporter. So from here we can go up one layer to the next uh, part of the tomb. Let's uh. Woo -hoo. We actually managed to get frozen, which is interesting. We do have good cold resist, but we're not immune to being frozen. And again, we've got to be careful because like we just saw, some of these guys have friggin' handy nukes on them. We'll take, uh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. We'll take this, but we are about to get overweight here. Okay, we did get recalled. Okay, this is the very first, uh, Part of the dungeon that we came into there is a teleporter over there so let's go grab that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next level and then I'm gonna leave drop this stuff off that we've picked up so far and then we're gonna continue on but I'm probably gonna make a uh, a teleporter for it what do we have here? A couple grave robbers. Ideally would love to take those guys out. So, you know what? Why don't we? We'll start with the guy on the left, just here. We'll sunder them. And... Go grab their stuff. And then I'm going to make a recoiler to get us back here at any time. did you drop my friend time dilation grenade dream beard pace that's pretty good grab the floating glow sphere you've got a dram of lava on you other than that you don't really have much else that I want I will take the laser pistol sure all right so let's go upstairs We're now in the access corridor. And if we go up once more, this is... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. There's a deep slumbling right there, huh? Alright, you know what? Before we leave then, let me uh, deal with this extra-dimensional invader. Because... Could be a problem. Okay, it's another pearl frog. Any, any others? This is definitely the scariest part of the tomb, in my opinion. Right, okay. Can I sunder you from here? This friggin' fly is gonna annoy me. No, okay. Back down we go. So what I'm gonna do right here... I am going to make us a... Reprogrammable recoiler. Okay, hold on.
I'm going to make a reprogrammable recoiler. This is one that we can change uh, where it teleports us to. Oh my god, the UI, please. Where's my tiny little yellow cursor? Okay, there. All right. Let's go tools. We are going to put a chem cell and hope that that's enough. We're going to imprint it with this location. Okay, it doesn't have enough charge. Okay, that's annoying, but that's fine. In that case, we need to get a better energy source. So I'm going to take one out of... I'm going to take the biodynamic cell out. I'm going to put it in the uh, reprogrammable recoiler for now. Imprinting takes a lot of charge, so... There we go. So it's now going to bring us back to this point. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put a regular chem cell back in there. And then I'm going to put the biodynamic cell back into our pistol. Also going to fill up the cell as well. Okay. And then with that done, since it's the only safe place for us right now, we go back to the stilt. Oh, wait. Put chem cell in it first. Drop the stuff off. Go straight back. So we, we'll have to deal with this uh, invader. I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be absolutely fine. All of this plaster for gear is going to make us a lot of money as well. That weighs 8. We can drop that off for now. I'm not going to be doing any tinkering anytime soon. Okay. And... Are you able to repair stuff or identify stuff for me? Okay, what was it? Uh, let's take a look. It was a poison gas grenade. Okay. Oh, crap, yeah. Drop the handy nuke. Handy nukes worth like, I think it just said like 9.8 thousand drams of water. So that was a nice, nice little find for sure. All right, back we go. All right, <clears throat> let's do this. So first thing first, temporal fugue. <clears throat> we'll let them deal with this. Um, then clairvoyance. And then let me try and sunder mind again. I think they have mental mirror. Yeah, no, it just fails to penetrate. Fair enough. Sure, if I can hit them with a. Uh with a chill from here? don't think I can. No. Close though. Okay. Try not to take the conveyors down to a- down a hole. Pop recognition here. Move over. Are you are you still frozen? No, you're just very cold. Come on, drop your shield, you coward. Okay, interesting. So it looks like the cycle flesh gun can actually go through barriers. Yep. It totally can go through barriers. Which is actually cracked. Alright, siphon their vim, just as a little extra. 
get some health back, and now we're just going to mess them up. Bear in mind, if you are freezing enemies, um, blood will actually cause them to defrost slightly faster. So, just know that. We're getting some good melee hits here. And there they go. These are the most annoying enemy in this dungeon by far, strip flies. They will steal your items if they attack you. So take them out as quickly as you can. Uh, they will tell you what they take, so don't worry about that too much. There we go, got them. Right, uh, here comes another. Dodged it that time. Okay, we got recalled. I don't think they stole anything from us. So that's great. Alright, let's take a look at what this... This is where you're most likely to get teleported, by the way. But it's okay. You will eventually start to ID where you are. Come on, are you serious? I'm going to say no. That guy's still alive. Definitely want another flesh gun. Okay, there we go. Pick up this friggin' ooze. There we go. And let's use... Can you get sundered? No, I didn't think so. Oh, cool, there's a giant... Why are you here? Oh, that's a tetra sludge. Okay, 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 okay. This is actually one of the times where I think it's okay to run away and jump down a pit. Um, there's a lot of scariness coming towards me right now. Namely this guy, but also this guy. Temporal Fugue is not on... is off cooldown right now. So... I think this is maybe where I'm like, see ya. Okay, maybe not. It's an awfully long fall. Oh, bad times. Alright, let's try this then. Good old fashioned sprint. Just for a memory eater here, which I wasn't expecting to see. Keep sprinting. Maybe drop a little chill behind us. Like right there. How are you looking, buddy? You're perfect. Of course you are. Perfect in every way. Come on. Push through. Okay, are you going to follow me? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, you are. You're right there. Okay, we made it to the uh, crematory machine room here. Which I think is actually the middle. We are going to have to deal with this thing. So, uh... Start shooting. Okay, there we go. We got it. Thank you. Okay, since we're here, why don't we try our best to loot this place before we get chucked out of here. A few books. Some juicy, juicy credit wedges. This is cute, by the way. It's a bedger. It's a bed shaped like a badger. Some wine. All right. Let's uh, let's be on our way then. Uh, we do still have to deal with the sludge, but temporal fugue is no longer on cooldown. Oh, 
Why are you shooting a wall? I mean, what is wrong with you? Where is that sludge? He's there. He's got burgeoning, of course. Right, take these losers out first. Come on. My dude, are you are you really Okay, you've stolen Ah. Oh. Okay, look. Really didn't want to use that, but you stole my handrail. And apparently without the handrail, we can't hit shit. So, uh... Which is rough, because now we've used our... <laughs> our cryokinesis, and we have to deal with this guy around the corner, so... Let's use this here. And hopefully get some of our guys to teleport through the wall. Are you gonna... Attack the sludge? No. Temporal Fugue's still very broken, isn't it? Hasn't been fixed yet. There we go. Get everybody to attack that. Okay, the sludge is down. It only took me 12 hours, but the sludge is down. We are about to level up also. Okay. So... How long until the bell goes here? 40 rounds? Let's wait until it... Okay, there we go. We were not recalled. By the way, these machine walls, um, if you break them, they will drop lava. Let's try and make our way to the next section of the crematory. Why did I get recalled there? I think this might be bugged right now, the timer. It definitely said that, uh, like, we were not recalled, and then it went straight to 20, and then it went to 280. Yeah, I'm not, I think that may be a bug, maybe in the, this version of the game. That's okay. Right, we're back here. Let's make our way through. We take the conveyors to move slightly quicker. Don't fall down the hole, though. You will have a very bad time. Somebody has dropped something here. What is this? It's congealed salve. I don't want it. Beware of the fire, also. Um. Okay, let me look here. So... You can see, right, like, a friggin' strip fly. You can see down here, there are these little chests hidden behind the, uh, the fans normally. <laughs> they normally have pretty good loot. I do recommend trying to grab them. Um, even if you get teleported, I would say it's probably still worth it because they do contain a lot of valuable... Goods. Try my best to dodge as much fire as possible here, but it's not always possible. And the way to do it is you want to go parallel to the uh, the fans, but then walk, I guess, perpendicular to the fusion power stations here and go behind. This has a siphon uh, baton, which is not particularly valuable, but it does have a number five bit. It's an interesting weapon. I'm going to rip it apart. Uh, it looks like the chest over here was destroyed. But the loot may still be there. So let's see if we can get over there in time. Okay, we are now on fire. Got to really watch your health here. It's, it's easy to, to die here accidentally. We probably will get teleported again. Let's try and skip this. Yeah, we're probably probably not able to get to that one easily. 
since we get blown as soon as we go there. I think also it may be dependent on your weight. But this is the easy part of the crematory. The hard part is uh, ahead, I believe, which is the uh, the crusher section. Yep. This is the crusher section. Uh, all of these are crushes. They deal... You can survive one crush, two in a row. No, no chance. Luckily, we can skip this first section by going behind this wall. We can grab the loot there. We probably will get uh, recalled, but loot, loot. There's loads of loot here. Uh, let's start by just getting some fugues out that can maybe deal with the strip flies a bit better. No idea what happened to that strip fly. I wasn't watching. They're just going to stand there. Good for them. Okay, we're going to get blown if we try and approach like that, as you see. We actually got blown incredibly far there, which is surprising. Come on, look at all these friggin' strip flies, man. That's too many. What did you steal? I don't know what you stole, but... You didn't steal anything because you suck. That guy had a pickaxe that he stole from the grave robber. Try this. Okay. You see? Ah, oh, no, that's really annoying. We can't go down here because we're getting blown back up, so we have to go around. But I will be grabbing this loot. A risk calculator. Okay. Not bad. Uh, it does give you the bonus to identifying artifacts, which is cool. Uh, but mostly it's just going to... I mean, let me equip it and I'll show you. With the bracer. We will lose one armor value. That's fine. Just make sure that it actually has charge. Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's keep moving. Got to be careful of our health here. I think the, the risk calculator also gives off light. A tiny bit of light. Uh, anywhere we can skip the crushes, yes. You can, like, jump and sprint through here, but I just don't recommend it. It's... This is definitely the scariest part of this whole dungeon, in my opinion. There is loot up here that I would like. Uh, let's see how long until the bell goes here. 20 rounds. See, it's, it's not making sense. It says 60, and then it goes 20. What happened to 40? Yeah, we're getting blown too far back there, so we can't go that way. So we're probably about to be recalled. In fact, I don't think we can do it. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I think if our strength were higher, we would uh, be able to move a bit further without getting blown back. All right, we'll take uh, we'll take one more stab at moving through this next section before the end of the video. And then we'll uh, we'll continue this. See what happened there? Why did that happen? You see what I mean about there definitely being a bug here. Um, so two sixty rounds is what it resets to. We got recalled. Yeah, very very bizarre, very peculiar. Uh, I can't figure out why that's happening. If you know why that might be happening. I've never experienced this. I've been here many, many times. But never experienced that before. Where the counter was messed up. Probably just a little bug is all. That's okay. 
Uh, I will check the CUD Discord and see if anybody else has reported this. Okay, so back to the crusher section. Keep moving. In fact, I, I'm so nervous here. I'm actually going to eat a uh, an herbary. Okay, we're going to get blown if we go that way. So let's move around. Stick in the middle. Go this way. Unfortunately, skipping all the loot because we, we get blown too far back. Uh... And then here, this way. So this this is where the problem starts here, right? Because we actually can't take this route. Which means we are going to have to either tread over lava, which I really don't want to do, unless we can freeze the lava. Um... But there's really no other route for us to take. Also, there's so many, so many crushers over here. Um, unless we took this route down and then through here. But that means we have to cross two lava squares. Right, so there you go. We've broken the wall. You can see the lava on the floor. Why don't we pop a little chill on it? Okay, that definitely does the trick. Of course, there's a strip fly here. Why wouldn't there be? Did you steal anything from me? You did not. Okay, good. Alright, so with that done, try not to get pushed here. Grab what is it? What's in this chest? Oh my god, a mecha power core data disk. Pretty cool, honestly. Uh, we can't learn it because it's level three, but I will take it. And then I'll do the same thing that we did, which is break the wall, freeze the lava. You can step through lava, the problem is it can destroy your items, if your items get covered in lava and they start burning. Okay, we are safe. We are safe. Uh, I'm going to end here. And next time we're going to enter what I consider to be the Tomb of the Eaters proper, which is the actual tombs themselves. Thank you very much for watching. My name has been Rograt. Subscribe for more Caves of Card content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.